this with the National, that's a newspaper based in Abu Dhabi. So, Sultan, um, as we've been hearing, Donald Trump is banning not just some Muslims, but all Muslims from entering the United States. That's his proposal. What's your reaction, sir? My reaction is that this uh, harks back to the darkest days of America. This, gen this person is impressed with what happened with Japanese internment, for example, World War II. This person would like to see the darkest days of McCarthyism come back to America. So this is not somebody who should be leading the world's greatest country, or so we were thought. We thought we thought so. Um, I believe that a Trump presidency would herald the moral decline of America. Um, and, and Sultan, you know, Donald Trump makes these comments, you know, he goes up in the polls, he continually rises in the polls, it, it seems as though no matter what he says, no matter how controversial his comments, he continues to go up in the polls. When you hear rhetoric like this, what is your biggest fear as a Muslim? Well, uh, for me, Trump is just an extension of the entertainment industry, but he just happens to be a very dangerous clown. However, what happens is that in one year's time, this person I don't think will even be on our mind. However, we will have to work so much in order to undo the damage that he has been doing over the past few months and perhaps even well into 2016. It worries me as someone from the Middle East, as someone who is proud, a proud Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, to see somebody uh, you know, from the U.S., uh, a potential president, generalized about a billion and a half people. Um, and Sultan, CNN has been talking to people on the ground in Abu Dhabi to get their reaction uh, about these comments. I want you to listen to what they had to say. Racist, yes. They are saying that Muslims are racist. No, they refuse other religions. He is refusing religion, so he is himself terrorist. If he will ban all Muslims, that means in his mind that religion of Muslim and Muslim people they are all bad. Uh, and this, uh, and they're not. Of course, of course not. So, Sultan, people on the ground we spoke to were calling him fascist. Uh, they were calling him racist. We've seen uh, GOP rivals, Republican rivals, condemn his comments. Various Muslim American organizations also calling him out. Even David Cameron, the British Prime Minister, also condemning um, what he said. Is that enough? Um, the, the truth is what uh, Trump is doing is that he is pushing the rhetoric and the narrative further and further to the right. In the next uh, Republican presidential debate, you will see people sort of trying not to disagree with him too much in order not to disenfranchise his uh, potential uh, voters. Um, you know, you mentioned that you see him as an extension of the entertainment industry, but how seriously are people actually taking these comments? Do they think that it's just a ploy by Trump just to get more attention, or is there some genuine concern that this man could actually be the Republican nominee? I, I don't think that uh, people in the Middle East believe that he could be uh, a, pre a president. I think that people still think that this is a joke. Um, for even some Americans believe it's a joke, but it's getting more and more serious by the day. He could just throw these balloons and one day one, somebody might adopt one of his policies. And, you know, this, this makes me feel as though uh, this is the president that, J, uh, that, uh, that uh, Hoover, the, uh, the FBI, uh, the head of the FBI would want. You know, the former head who was mm. complete right wing. So, so this is very worrying. And I think that, um, you know, he potentially might be breaking some uh, American laws in the next few months. If he continues, the next step might be what? Potentially second tier citizenship, citizenship for Americans. Uh, could, he, uh, could he propose so, sort of legislating racist uh, laws and regulations? There's no end to his uh, yeah. craziness. And Sultan, you know, I want to make it very clear, just to take up your point, I want to make it very clear that a lot of people have come out calling his comments unconstitutional, un-American, and characteristically, Trump didn't say anything about how he would adopt these policies. I mean, these are just ideas, and I think a lot of people have been calling um, him out. But just to, just to get your point on this, the fact that Trump is doing so well in the polls despite making these controversial comments, how does that change the perception that people have of America? What does that do to the American brand, do you think? 
Um, um, as I said, America is slowly losing its moral high ground. America could not go and preach to, to other countries uh, I mean, Amer and, and tell them what to do and what not to do and how to treat their citizens. When America, when a potential presidential candidate is uh, proposing, uh, you know, sort of either racist or bigoted legislation against so many people from their own citizens, America could not go and, and preach to others. They could not issue these annual reports about how other countries are uh, doing democratically and treating their own citizens. This would be the end of America in terms of, uh, you know, moral high ground. At least for us in the Middle East, uh, they cannot criticize uh, dictators and autocrats and how they, how they mistreat their citizens when a potential presidential candidate is doing the same in America. Right, so you think it's hypocritical, but I, I do want to make it clear that just because he's rising the polls, that doesn't automatically mean that he's going to get the nomination. But, of course, anything's possible. We shall see. Sultan al Qasemi, thank you so much. Appreciate getting your perspective. Appreciate that. Thank you. Standing now to the investigation into the...